Welcome all of you, the viewers of Pillon de la Culture. We take you today for a journey through movies. And this is big Christian movies produced by Pablo Jose Barroso, which is with us on Skype. Pablo, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Maria. Thank you for inviting me to your show again. And thank you for calling us from Mexico. Where are you exactly, just to start? Now I'm, I'm in Tlaxcala, which is like the and the east side of Mexico City, like three hour drive in a ranch. So so we have sun, but it's very cold today. Okay. So even though Poland and Mexico are so far away from each other uh, in many dimensions uh, in in uh, history, but also in uh, geography, still we have this uh, common element, and I would say it's devotion to Virgin Mary, which uh, <laughs> connects our nations uh, very strongly. And of course, yes. with you having the Guadalupe uh, is also um, uh, like a place to visit for the Christians from all over the world. Yes, hopefully you, ha you, you come uh, soon and everyone in Poland can come and visit Our Lady of Guadalupe, as well as we have been uh, had the privilege of being in Poland with Our Lady of Czestochowa. Oh, so very happy that you were able to see her as well and pray with her. But um, coming back to the topic of the movies and uh, Max and Me. Max and Me is the movie which you're currently working on and uh, putting all your efforts and energy to finish. And this is a cartoon telling the story of Maximilian Kolbe from a perspective through the eyes of a young boy and his older friend, who actually is Polish as well, isn't he? It's a story of a Polish uh, person that is living in the in, uh, in the United States. He's a widow, so he's living by himself, and he gets to to take over a young boy uh, to help him, and then he starts talking about San Maximilian, and especially as we were is, is talking about Our Lady of about Mary, we talk about a uh, lot about the, the importance of the consecration to the Immaculada as uh, San Max. Similian uh, tells us. Yeah, he was uh, definitely a saint, very also devoted to Virgin Mary. You mentioned in the previous episode the Nipokalanov, which is a town close to Warsaw with a beautiful shrine um, to Virgin Mary and also a lot of miracles which went through this place, uh, through um, her uh, help or her presence there. And, and Maximilian Kolbe with his uh, great story and courage and also and as an image from young people, this would be absolutely fabulous if, if he becomes a hero of, of, of young people today. Talking about the movie, can you tell us a few words about the production? Who is responsible for a cartoon, for writing? Who is responsible for music? Well, we have top of the art uh, people in each department. As uh, the script was done by Bruce Morris, who did uh, Pocahontas and uh, many other films. Then we have the music uh, produced by Mark Mackenzie, which uh, he did also some music for Spider-Man. But beyond all the Hollywood blockbusters that they have worked for, they have done a great job and with a, a lot of heart to really portray the story of this. So we can show you, when you watch the movie, you can see all their work. And for example, the music was done, was recorded in Abbey Road in London uh, with the orchestra and the Philharmonic. And then we have Joshua Bell, which is one of the best violinists now in the world who helped us. Also, we have the, the the other kind of music that we played also, we have Spencer Proffer who helped us to get Anne Wilson from Heart uh, to do the end song. We have also Sabrina Carpentier from Disney Channel also singing. We have also uh, Rick Springfield. We have also in the animation department, Lightstream Media, who has worked in films for Lucas Films, for Disney, for several of them. And then we did the motion capture in, in order so that the, the animation was not so robotic, that it was more fluid. We did all the, the caption in Centroid in London, in Shepperton Studios. They have worked in movies like 300, like Hugo. So we're very happy and grateful to all of them that supported us and that believed in this project and that everything has been put together with the state-of-the-art production values. 
So almost everything is ready. Uh, you need some new, more few touches uh, to finish the project. And um, so tell us, uh, we'll talk more about also in the next episode, what is needed uh, and maybe how Polish side can be involved uh, in this project. But who would you invite to, um, to watch and to see uh, Max and me? Hopefully, as you were saying uh, prior, that everybody will watch the movie. Not only Catholics or Christians, or so, but everyone in the in the world. And that this story that is somehow not very known, that everybody will know San Maximilian and Poland and the 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 heart of the Polish, all the the values that that you portray. So it's it's everybody will be welcome to watch the movie. Well. I, we hope that everybody will be very interested. And I would say it's a paradox that the Mexicans are actually promoting Polish culture and it seems they're doing the better job than we do. But anyway, stay with us for another episode. The viewers of Poland Daily and thank you for watching the show.